Hey guys, it's the Solo Coffee, and today inside this monster analysis video, we're going to be going over Tyrant Steel, and I'm going to tell you guys whether or not you should get him out of his current bounty hunt event. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so Tyrant Steel is a cursor, and his traits are hardened at rank 0, possession immunity at rank 1, which is alright, I guess. And then area bleed at rank 3, control immunity at rank 4, which is really good. That's definitely the best one so far. And then area nanovirus, which is also actually pretty great. So his best traits are rank 4 and 5, which is kind of disappointing because you do have to rank him up that far to get him but his other ones are all right i guess but they're not super good at all and then his relics are amulet and trap which are pretty decent now let's go on down to the pros and the cons so he's access to a reign of nice debuff such as guard down which is really good negative effect protection a positive effect block nanovirus shield block and random negative which are all pretty good to have especially guard down and then it also has spammable positive effect removal and self negative effect removal which is very good and then it also has a move that can bypass dodge area it has good trait along with relics and amazing speed and its cons are dark and light meta high stamina costs and cooldowns on best moves and then low life and by the way one of his moves has 100 stamina and four cooldown which is crazy so yeah, that's very interesting. But yeah, but overall his cons aren't that big a deal because you are of course going to use a tank so the low life doesn't matter and the dark and light meta doesn't really matter either, honestly. But yeah, the high stamina cost is kind of a problem. Yeah, his pros are definitely much better. And now let's go on down to the move side. So he has a PER and self NER for zero cooldown, which is really good. He also has a random negative effect with nanovirus with one cooldown, which is great. He also has a negative effect protector with shield block, which is pretty decent. Or you can use an AoE guard down with shield block and random negative. I would definitely use that one instead. That one is much, much better. And then he also has an AoE positive effect block with a negative effect protected, which is okay. And then he has a PER with AoE PER and nanovirus. So he does have some pretty great moves. He has NER and PER as it's set up there, which is really good to have. He also has AoE nanovirus, which is great. And then he also has, of course, random negatives, which is really good. And yeah, he just has a lot of really good stuff. He also has AoE guard down, which is good to have. So yeah, this monster is definitely worth getting. Go ahead and get Tyrant Skill. He seems like he has some really great moves. But definitely try to give him a rank 4 and 5 if you can, because those are definitely his best traits by far. His other traits are just not too great. But yeah, if you can get him in rank 4 and 5, you get some pretty great traits. So yeah, that is going to be it about Tyrant Skill. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think of Tyrant Skill. And let me know if you guys are going to be getting him. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Over to like, share, and subscribe. Goodbye.